channel so today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth makeup tutorial on how I cream contour using my two favorite cream contouring products which are only like two dollars and fifty cents each the first one is well they're both the same product they're the LA girl pro concealers this one is in beautifully bronze and this one is in light ivory I hope this video helps you guys out um, so if you guys want to know how I cream contour then please just keep on watching Alright guys, so I have already moisturized my skin and what I've been using recently to moisturize my, to moisturize my skin is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Protecting Light Moisturizer. Then after I moisturize my skin, I like to prime my face to make sure because we're going to be using a lot of creams and powders. So you want to make sure everything is set on a nice clean canvas. First thing that I use to prime my face is the Smashbox Primer Water. So I'm just going to... Then I like to, for the areas where I have large pores, I like to go in with my Benefit Professional Primer. So this is areas like here, here, and my nose. Because this creates a very smooth canvas for the foundation to lay on. What I have been loving lately is mixing together my L'Oreal True Match Foundation and my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And to buff this into my skin, I go in my I go in with my Morphe G6 brush to buff all of my foundation into my skin. So now that my foundation is on, I like to go ahead and set it. What I use to set my foundation is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this e.l.f. powder brush. So when you set your foundation, that is putting powder on top of cream. And cream does better on powder than a cream on cream. So it's better to go in with cream contour after you've set your face than go in straight after you put your foundation when it's creamy because it can get a little mushy. So to highlight my face, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. So I place this in all the areas where I want to highlight and conceal, which is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. When you highlight, those are the areas that you want to accentuate, not to hide. That is for the contouring part. So any area you want to accentuate, we highlight. So I am just going to use my damp Real Techniques complexion sponge to blend it all light. <laughs> to sponge to blend out. The reason why I don't go in with bronzer too is because it gets really messy. So I like to do my highlight first and then my bronzer. And to contour my face, I'm going to be using another LA Girl Pro Concealer, but this is going to be in the shade Beautifully Bronze. All the areas that I want to contour is just the cheeks and my forehead. To find where you want to contour, you can either make the like kissy face, for me is down here, or you can just feel out your cheekbones. Go from the tops of my ears down to like about here. Well, the most important part of cream contouring is not technically the products that you use because the most important part is the brush you're using. So for areas like my forehead where I have a variety of space and it doesn't have to be that precise, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques. Um, this is the buffing brush. Areas like this that are very, very precise and I need it to be in this area, I'm going to be using a stippling brush. But this is a very, very small stippling brush because if I used... A large stippling brush like this, I'd end up having my contour all the way up here. I use brushes that are very synthetic and smooth, not brushes that are stiff like this that won't give you much area to work with. All I'm doing is using circular motions and upward motions. Yeah. 
did, I'm going to go in with my Real Technique Small Stippling Brush to blend out the cream contour down here. And all I'm doing is circular motions again. And again, I'm just blending upwards. Your hand cramps. <sighs> Take a break. Oh my gosh, my hand hurts. Alright guys, so this is how it looks all blended out. It looks pretty like, I don't know how to explain it, like wet and like thick. But we always have to set cream with powder or else it will never last. <laughs> to set anywhere I highlight it, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So once I finish my eyes and my lips, I just go ahead and brush off any excess powder. So just like we set whatever we highlighted, you also have to set your um, contour. So I like to set this, I call it bronzing my face, I don't really call it a contour because you're just going over where you contoured sharply. So I go in with my contour kit and I use the bronze shade that I'm hitting pan on. And what I do is I grab it on my Morphe M106 brush and I just tap off the excess and then I just start bronzing my face or setting your contour, whatever you want to call it. And again, I'm using circular motions. And I also set my forehead. This is very, very important, guys. You do not want to skip this because you'll feel like your face is wet all day long. I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. palette and this Real Techniques, Real Techniques, Real Technique blush brush. And I'm going to take this first shade very lightly. I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks, like that. Mm -hmm. Then of course the most important part is highlighting. I'm going to be going in with my Mary Lubinizer Highlight by The Balm and my Morphe M310 brush. Alright guys, so that is how I cream contour. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.